And on St. Thomas, a man was shot and killed in the Thomasville area this morning. News Channel 8's Lee Carl has the story as well as other police news. Over the weekend, uh, a shooting took place out in the Thomasville area. Details still are kind of sketchy at this point. Melody Rames is working on a little more information on it. But the information we received is that residents heard gunshots in the early morning hours in the Thomasville area. Uh, when the police finally arrived, they found a young man apparently shot to death. Uh, and the shooting uh, indicated that there were a number of automatic weapons fire and also nearby uh, some more gunfire. The police have kind of put it together about the possibility of a drive-by shooting and a return of fire. We don't know at this point. As I mentioned before, Melody is working on it, but one man is dead in a shooting incident took place at Thomasville. Meantime, a 17-year-old was shot and wounded while leaving a movie theater and authorities investigating the weekend rape of a 16-year-old girl. Here's Melody Rain is filling us in with the official report on those two items. Police on St. Thomas are investigating an aggravated rape in the second degree that occurred at approximately 2.37 a.m. Sunday, August 17th. The victim is a 16-year-old female minor who reported to police that she was sexually assaulted by a 16-year-old male in the area of the American Yacht Harbor. The victim was taken to the Roy L. Schneider Regional Hospital for evaluation and release. The suspect was in the custody of police following the incident. The case is being followed up by the Juvenile Investigation Bureau. St. Thomas, St. John, Water Island Chief of Police Rodney Carrad Sr. reminds parents, guardians, and teenagers that according to the VI code, it is illegal for minors under the age of 17 to be out on the public streets after 10 p.m. Also on St. Thomas, police are investigating the shooting of a 17-year-old minor that occurred at approximately 11, 12 p.m. Saturday in the area of the Market Square East Movie Theater. The minor was shot in the left shoulder and treated at the Roy Lester Schneider Regional Hospital. According to preliminary police reports, the victim told police he was exiting the movie theater uh, when he heard shots being fired and realized that he had been shot in the shoulder. He told police that he did not see who fired the shots and could not describe the suspect. However, he did see a group of males outside the theater. Several vehicles in the area also sustained gunshot holes, according to police. St. Thomas St. John Water Island Chief of Police Rodney Carrad again reminds parents, guardians, and teenagers that according to the VI code, it is illegal for minors under the age of 17 to be out on the public streets after 10 p.m. The case is being followed up by the Criminal Investigation Bureau. In St. Thomas, Lee Carl for News Channel 8. Well, if you live on St. Croix, you probably experienced a power outage or a blackout of some kind. Several feeders were knocked offline for most of the morning, all because of heavy amounts of rain that we recently had. However, WAPA spokesperson Cassandra Dunn says that everything is back to normal now, and WAPA apologizes for the interruptions. The Virgin Islands Police Department are cracking down. That next, right after these messages. Good evening, and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Ajean, and here's what's happening in our territory. It was a violent and deadly weekend for St. Thomas and St. Croix. First, we start with St. Croix, as a prominent businessman was gunned down in front of his porch in Williams Delight early this morning. News Channel 8's Wes Small files the report. Very sad news to report here in Williams Delight as violence again rains down in our Virgin Island territory. Here in Williams Delight, uh, where last night um, at least two or more gunmen followed 30-year-old Mr. Shada Mustafa right here in this residence. The alarming news this morning 
over 100 shots apparently uh, took this man's life. Now, this is what uh, business friends and associates are saying. The family's locked up tight. They're not saying much today. They are in a panic mode um, right now. Uh, the island is in shock as uh, a 30 year old businessman laid in a pool of blood at around 1:40 this morning on his porch he was shot apparently uh, by a machine gun uh, what we know now 30 year old shot of mustafa had multiple multiple gunshot wounds to his body information now coming from melody rames public relations officer from the vipd as uh, she told me that he was um, alive when emergency personnel and police got here but then he did expire at 4 30 this morning where he was pronounced dead at juan louis hospital by a uh, medical doctor uh, we can tell you um, that uh, a lot of people believe that he was perhaps followed, um, perhaps from his business, right to this Williams Delight uh, area here where he was accosted uh, by these men or individuals uh, and they uh, then uh, took his life. Uh, no information on the suspects at this time. Um, all we could tell you that if you know anything about this case, then you should call 911 or you should call 778-2211. All information will be kept confidential. Uh, now you're going to see black ribbons uh, that are going to come up. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mustafa's businesses that he helped run or that he owned here on St. Croix. This is where 30-year-old Shada Mustafa put a lot of his time and energy into this Villa Lorraine uh, restaurant you see here, uh, Shandea's Fast Food and Sports Bar. Uh, talking to business associates, red-eyed business associates this morning as they shed many tears for Shada. Uh, he leaves behind a three-month-old baby just to make matters worse. Here at Lorraine, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.